Welcome back, Ogreheads. Today we have Zap It, five lightning spells uh, going off to our Town Hall 10 three star attack here. We're going to attempt it with the Zap It strategy. Not sure if you use this strategy. Let me show you the replay here. <laughs> and here's the plan. So you can use this strategy when, pause it down, when the Infernal Tower, Clan Castle, and the Queen are right next to each other. A great strategy. So what you do, you bring an Earthquake and then use 5 Lightning. It'll take out the Clan Castle, take out the Infernal Tower, take out the Queen, and then you come in with the Go... I got a lo Go... Uh, go We La Loon action here. So here we go, dropping down that Earthquake, and right when the Queen pass on to the Clan Castle, it's going to take her out. There it goes, all five in a row, taking out everything right there, except the queen. What in the world? The queen always goes down. I've seen level 40 queens go down. Nonetheless, I still got to go with the attack. It really hurt. Here I'm bringing in two golems on the side, a couple wizards, and then I will drop my queen, and she'll take out some of the troops. So things are actually going okay. I did take out that Inferno Tower. The queen's almost dead. Uh, I brought an extra earthquake in case I needed some extra power. Bring in the wall breakers, but look what I did. I brought in the king too soon. The golem did not path there quick enough, and because of that, look at that. The king is taking th uh, three, uh, that expo and the wizard tower and the cannon. Really big mistake on my part. And because of that, I wasn't able to take down that extra air defense. Just a couple things went bad here. Uh, you know, I had the queen. She passed in the wrong direction. She did take out the queen, but look, she didn't go and take out that expo. She went to the archer tower and that expo to the south and didn't go up towards the uh, air defense. If she had went north, I would have taken that air defense out. You know, sometimes you just get unlucky. I still thought I could do it. So bringing in the uh, air portion of the attack, bringing two uh, hounds right there, bringing spreading out the golem, I mean the, the uh, loons just a little bit. But the thing is, I have no spells left, so it's really difficult. And with that single target inferno, it's going to hurt the, the hounds as well. But really the key difference was that one extra air defense. If I had that extra air defense, I would have three-starred this base. I was so close. And actually, if I had brought the haste instead of that extra uh, uh, earthquake, I would have dropped the haste right there, and I would have three-starred this base. But because I didn't have any spells at the end, those two loons I dropped to the south, that was a mistake against in towards the air sweeper. But look, if I just had a haste, oh, I would have three-starred this base. and would have been marvelous. It's so hard to three-star base. Even non-max Town Hall 10 bases, it's so hard. I don't have max heroes, so it makes a huge difference being able to three-star. But I wanted to show you that just so you can use it. It is a viable option, even though I only got two stars out of it. But, you know, sometimes you win some and sometimes you don't. That's how it goes. Anyways, the Lava Pups, just going to speed it up here. Just going to do some extra cleanup. But I won't get that three-star. Just two, uh, that Archer Tower and the Air Defense. If they went down, I would have three-starred it. But that's how it is. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, please share, and as always, I'll see you next time. Halo 